Welcome back to the Fuzzins. Today we're eating Gordon Ramsay's last meals for the next 24 hours, starting with breakfast. So up first on Gordon Ramsay's last meal, we got breakfast. All right, so this is a classic English breakfast. We got the toast, tomatoes, English muffin. We got the hash browns, the bacon, the ham, the sausages, and some eggs. We're only missing the beans, but they didn't have any here. He is from England, so I guess this is what a classic English breakfast would be, right? I didn't know there was grilled tomatoes. We had to ask him to grill this in the back as well. So. Bro, this is fire. This is the classic. We got the carbs, English muffins. This is just a classic overall delicious meal. Buttery no eggs, bro. So Lots of protein. I really like the flavoring of the sausage. Uh -huh. This is the kind of meal like when you eat it in the morning, this will put you straight back to sleep. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. You go back home around 11 a.m. and you're going back to sleep, sleeping for an hour. But as you guys know, Gordon Ramsay isn't that type of person. He's a workaholic. He is. He has his hands in a little bit of everything. This meal for me makes sense because it'll give you all of the energy you need to work you out through your day. Right? Exactly. Gordon Ramsay is a business guru. He has restaurants, he has small food chains, restaurant cookware, yeah. a whole bunch of other things, and he's huge on social media uh -huh. as well. So uh -huh. this guy knows what he's doing. Actually, this isn't a plug or this isn't sponsored, but I do have a hex clad pan that I just bought. Really good stuff, non-stick. Shout out Gordon Ramsay. It's actually good quality stuff. Very good quality really stuff. Good quality so what are you stuff. gonna give this breakfast? Is this something you would have? Not anymore. This is something I used to eat, mm. but it's too heavy, it makes me tired. Gotcha. Uh, for this rating for breakfast, I would say it's average, five and a half, six. Five and a half, six. For, for me, this is an eight. And, and the reason I say eight is because it's protein packed. Like right here in this area, this is 100 grams of protein easily. And exactly what I need to build muscle to work me through the day. This carbs right here, I would stay away from. But overall, I'll give this an eight. So let's see what we got next. So up next for one of Gordon Ramsay's last meals are some chicken wings. Honestly, for one of my last meals, I would put chicken wings on there too. Can't go wrong with that. I'm gonna have to agree with you. Gordon Ramsay knows food and chicken wings are a staple in every man's diet. I feel like every man loves some classic chicken wings on a Sunday watching football, whatever it may be. Oh chicken yeah, Chicken wings exactly. are bomb. Okay, so if you order chicken wings, what would you order? What sauce? Oh, I think I'd go medium. medium. Okay. Yeah. I usually do like a mild garlic. Mild garlic? I'm gonna go mild garlic, add lemon pepper on top. I would say honestly, for Kamal, I remember growing up that this guy loves wings. Oh, I love wings. Wings are one of my favorites. So Gordon Ramsay, God bless you. <laughs> okay, I got a wing right here. So one thing about Justin is he only eats the flats. He doesn't eat the drumsticks. Fun fact, if you guys want to know that about Justin, it's easier to eat too. Yeah. All right, fellas. Cheers. Cheers. My boy Jordan taught me how to eat a ring. Got to, got to twist it, pull out the bones. Oh wow. Jordan, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Shout out Gordon Ramsay. This right here is a Fuego last meal. All right, Kamal was trying his best, bro. He tried. This is the way you do it. Just like that right there. You gotta make sure you hold it. Ready, Kamal? Ready. Cheers. Wow. I can't do all that. That's a, that's a skill I haven't learned. That takes years of experience right there. So I'm gonna rate this meal a nine out of 10 as, as a really, really good last meal to have. Okay, for me, I'm gonna rate it 10 out of 10. Wings are one of my favorites of all time. Yeah. I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna say 10 out of 10 as well too. I think these are one of the best wings. Let's get to our next meal. So for the next item in Gordon Ramsay's last meal, we got the butter chicken right here and the garlic knot. For Gordon Ramsay to have this part of his last meal, a well-renowned chef that has eaten everything in the world saying something about this dish right here. Most definitely, I mean, we've had Indian food before. Butter chicken is amazing, so I'm excited to try it out. It makes sense why Gordon Ramsay chose this at one of his last meals. Yeah. We should dig in. We should dig in. All right, so let's go. Got a little bit of the chicken right over here. Mix it in with the rice. Mix it in with the rice right over here. Simple white rice, some butter chicken. Ready? Solid. It makes sense why he has this part of his last meal. You get so many spices and flavors from that sauce. Very exquisite flavor, and then you can't forget the garlic naan. Oh, the naan is always the best part of it. It is 100% the best part, and right now it's fresh, nice and warm. As you can see, well charred as well. Hey, the owner was just whipping it up fresh for us. Yeah, he was. He went in the back, make sure he gave us a fresh batch. Make sure you got that chicken. Ooh. Ready? Oh yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Mm. 
Easy. On 10 fire. out of 10. Amazing. Garlic naan with the buttered chicken, you can't go wrong. I'm gonna have to agree with you. I think this was amazing. But let's check out to see what else Gordon Ramsay ate. Bro, you're lying. Stop. Are you being serious? You never told me this in the past. All right, I'm literally right here. Are you being serious? All right, all right, I'll talk to you later, bro. Peace. I just got off the phone with Gordon Ramsay and he told me that In-N-Out is actually one of his last meals he'd eat because he loves it so much. It just so happens to be that we're at In-N-Out and it's one of my favorite meals. So let's go in there and order some and let's eat it. It's an honor to know that Gordon Ramsay's last meal also includes In-N-Out burger because mine would for sure be In-N-Out burger as well. No, definitely. Just one quick story about In-N-Out that you guys may not know. Me and Ali, we used to go to our grandma's house every single go Friday. Wow, you're throwing and, this back. And one thing that we always do is never eat our grandma's food. Yeah, and we wait until after the party just to go to In-N-Out together. We would purposely not eat it just so at the end of the night we could end up here getting our double-double animal fries and our coke. It was, it was honestly nothing better. You'd eat an In-N-Out burger, we'd sleep over at one of each other's house, and then the next day it would be Saturday. Wow. We're playing basketball all day long. That's a nostalgic feel. So this burger right here is my favorite burger in the world. I have in and out I want to say at least four to five times a week I haven't grown out of my in and out phase this is just the best burger out there all right. Let's go ahead and try this right. cheers mm. and then now it's different when it's fresh too it always hits different the people who, in my opinion and there's some of my fuzzins I want to call out I love all my fuzzins but I have some fuzzins who think in their minds that Shake Shack might be better than In-N-Out. In-N-Out is the best. Gordon Ramsay knows it and I know it and hopefully all of my other cousins who don't know it will eventually know it now. Yeah, well, anytime you eat In-N-Out, it brings you that Southern California feeling. And I know Gordon Ramsay's probably gotten a bunch of influence and a bunch of his dishes from Southern California. Yes. So it's an honor to eat In-N-Out in his name. Yes. 10 of 10. Now let's move on to his next meal. All right, so we're here at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen for the other thing that he would eat for his last meal, which is the beef wellington. So a beef wellington is basically a filet mignon wrapped with prosciutto, some mushrooms, and puff pastry served with potato puree. Okay, for the sauce here, we got a red wine demi-glaze. I'm excited to eat this. This looks really good. It they said it's the best thing on the menu, so I'm excited. Yeah, and I want to say this is about $70. Yeah. Here's, the, here's the knife. Yeah, I'll let you cut it. You cut two pieces. Perfect. Okay, so the filet mignon is cooked to perfection. Oh, we got a nice medium rare. Ooh. In addition to that, they said they only serve this medium rare. Okay, as I'm cutting through this, it's cutting like butter. There's no wow. resistance at all. This thing is cooked perfectly. Check that out. All right, I say we gotta go in here. I'm gonna get the puff pastry. Make sure you my... get everything in there. Three, two, one. Wow, that is going on my list. So in my last meal, that is for sure on there. That is delicious and it's so unique with the puff pastry on the outside and the meat is cooked perfectly, medium rare in the inside, it melts in your mouth and there's so many flavors going on and that prosciutto, yes. That is special because of the saltiness that's in there. That's a well-balanced meal, delicious. You yes. pretty much said everything that I was gonna say. Yep. Gordon Ramsay, he is a well-known chef. Yep. He knows what he's eating. Oh. This is the best of the best. He's I would killing. have this on my last meal. He's killing it. I think we gotta wash it down here with another one of his last meals, gin and tonic. Go I've ahead. never had a gin and tonic in my life, so let's see what's going on. You can drink that. I'm gonna take another bite. Okay. This is, uh, this is what you call a grown man drink. There is not much flavor. You really taste the alcohol in this one. And it's strong. Why don't you, why don't you hit that? It tastes like water and rubbing alcohol. Water and rubbing alcohol is what it tastes like. Okay, so I'm gonna give the drink a five out of 10. Okay. And I'm gonna give the Beef Wellington a 10 out of 10. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do a five out of 10 and then Beef Wellington. 20 out of 10. Okay, but I think we have a dessert to try, so let's try that one out. Next up on the list of Gordon Ramsay's last meals is his famous sticky toffee pudding. You got the sponge cake, you got the toffee sauce, and you got the vanilla ice cream on top. It looks amazing. Are you guys ready to try this out? So this is the sticky icky. This is that sticky icky icky. I've had this one time and it was amazing. Yeah, I've, I've never had it. I've never had it personally, so 
I've heard great reviews from you guys. Yes, I've had I'm it. I'm excited to try it out. You know what, Kamal, since you haven't had it and myself and Ramel have, I want you to try it first. Let's try it out together, you know? Let's try it out together. Right, let's try together? It out. All right. Let's dig into it. Oh, it's so soft as you go into it. It's Very, like butter when it's you literally it. Sponge cake, it's spongy. Literally yeah. spongy. Cheers, fellas. Cheers. Oh, wow. Wow. Melts like butter. Wow. Sweet, sweet butter. Wow. That toffee sauce. Oh, wow. Ooh. Wow. Let me try that one more time. I know, this is one of the best desserts I've ever had. I'm gonna have to cut you off. I'm gonna have to cut you off. This is phenomenal! Wait, what? This is phenomenal! Wow, this is great! I didn't hear you. What did you hear me? Phenomenal! Yeah, that Amazing. is phenomenal. That is a hell of a dessert. And I understand why he wants this as one of his last meals. Yeah. Sweet, moist, spongy, everything you can imagine. The ice cream on top. What more can you ask for? You can't ask for more when it comes to for a dessert, literally. No, this is 100%. One of my favorite desserts of all time. 10 out of 10, if not 20 out of 10. Well, oh, what's your rating? 100 out of 10. Phenomenal out of 10. I'm gonna go phenomenal out of 10. Well, I'm also gonna go phenomenal out of 10 as well. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell to be notified every time we drop those videos. Don't forget to follow us on all of our socials. The links are in the description below. We are the Fuzzes and we're out. Peace. All right, so up first on Hold Gordon. On, all right, so up first on Gordon Ramsay's food tour, or what is it? Meal? Diet? Nice meal. All right, so for the next item in Gordon Ramsay, so for the next item in Gordon Ramsay's last meal, we got the butter chicken right here and the garlic knot. This has... For Gordon Ramsay... So a beef wellington is basically a filet mignon wrapped with... Prosciutto? Prosciutto. So it's basically, it's a filet mignon wrapped with prosciutto. Wow, that is going on my list. What is the list called before I die? Um, last meal. Last meal. Jordan hit the head on the nail. He yes. pretty much said everything that I was gonna say. Yep. Next up on Gordon Ramsay's list of. All right, guys. Next up for Gordon. Ra next up on Gordon Ramsay's list of last meals is his. Oh shit. All right, guys, and next up on the list, it's an honor to know that Gordon Ramsay's last meal is all. Oh, wait, is in, is also, right? Oh, all right? Includes in it. All right. It's an honor. It brings you that Southern California feeling. Yes. And I know, and I know, and I know Gordon Ramsay's probably gotten a bunch of influence and a bunch of his dishes from Southern California. Yes. So it's an honor to eat this one. What? It's a it's a and it's an honor to eat. And it's an honor to eat in and out in his name.